Hey, it's Michael Sheehan, Technology Evangelist for GoGrid, and today I'm going to walk through cloud computing and understanding the different types of clouds that are out there. So let's start out very simply by drawing a few clouds on the board here, and I'll explain what each of these are. And this is a very high level overview, so let's start with uh, public cloud. So uh, this is the one that most people are familiar with. It, uh, if you're uploading photos to a photo sharing site or using uh, Facebook or other social media or even doing email, most people are consuming resources on a public cloud. Then you have something called a private cloud. And what a private cloud is, is basically very similar to a, a public cloud, but it's single tenant. So it is essentially boxed in, very private, um, and typically uh, companies will access this and, and dole out resources within, the, within their private cloud to their own company. But it is single tenant. That's the, the biggest differentiator between private and public clouds, where public clouds are multi-tenant. And then you have something called a hybrid cloud. And what a hybrid cloud is, is essentially like a public cloud, but it is connected to a customer's data center. And this could be on-premise, this could be a lease data center, similar to like a private cloud. But when you need resources that you don't have within your, your uh, data center, you're bursting out into a public cloud or another cloud, and you're sharing resources that way. So I want to go into a term that uh, I came up with several years ago called the cloud pyramid because I felt like a lot of people didn't really understand how cloud is broken down. And, and since cloud computing came to being, you know, five, six, seven years ago, um, it's now been shortened down to the term just cloud, but still there, I think there is some confusion. So this is the cloud pyramid. I'm going to draw a series of layers here and explain what each one is about. So I'm going to start at the top here and this is what we call the the cloud application layer. And so at this layer this is uh, where you find things like photo sharing sites or uh, something like Salesforce or um, Facebook, that sort of thing. And, and this is essentially access to applications that are delivered via the internet. And you're, you're given some control at this layer, but not as much. It's basically like using desktop software, but actually access through the internet through a web browser. So then at the next layer, we, we call uh, cloud platforms. So at the platform layer, you're, you're exposed to different types of frameworks like Java or Ruby, and you're still isolated away from the underlying uh, operating system, which I'll, I'll go into, and, and the raw infrastructure, but you're given much more control than you are at the application layer. So let's move down to this last layer here, and this is called the, the cloud infrastructure layer. And so at this layer, you're given a lot more access and more control to things to control your, your infrastructure. So uh, access to uh, the operating system. You have full root and administrative access. So essentially, as you move up and down the pyramid here, you have more control down at the bottom. And this is more sort of niche oriented. So you don't have as much control. You uh, have access basically to certain elements of the software, but you can't like change a variety of different things. The platform layer, you're given more exposure to more frameworks. And then at the infrastructure layer, uh, you're given full access to a lot of different, different components um, compute, storage, networking, that sort of thing. So other ways that, that these layers of the cloud pyramid are called, so this is uh, software as a service, this is platform as a service, and then this is infrastructure as a service. 
And all of this stuff, these are all clouds. So each layer here is a type of cloud. And as I mentioned earlier, you can have private applications. So these could be private clouds in the form of applications. So if you're a, a corporation looking for tighter control on your CRM or other types of things, you may want to deploy a private software as a service. And then same thing with uh, cloud platforms. They can be public platforms, they can be private platforms. Um, and then lastly, down at the infrastructure layer, you can have private clouds that are infrastructure based that give you full access to all the different components that make up a, a, a virtual data center environment and you have full control over everything at that level. So hopefully this has explained the different layers of the cloud pyramid, the different types of clouds, public, private, and hybrid, and gives you a little bit better understanding as to where the control lies. You get more control at the foundation level, and you have more niche-oriented, um, very specific applications at the, at the top of the pyramid. Mm -hmm.